let's see actual examples on Catalyst. We have natural examples, which are clays and zeolites. You can literally find them in the nature. Of course, you modify them a little bit and adapt it to your chemical process. And of course, we have the human-made uh, catalysts. For example, they have crystalline structures. Most common ones are aluminosilicates. So first things first, the natural ones, or the ones you can find in nature, are clays and zeolites. Zeolite, this one is a zeolite, this is a zeolite, and this is a zeolite here. They have this structure, but it's natural structure. As you can see, they have holes or tunnels everywhere. And I will give you this little example. The zeolite used in the parahelene. So you have parahelene here, parameter or Okay, the benzene and toluene enter the cellite. So let's say they have here cellite. They go inside benzene. Remember, it's just a ring here with six carbons, and toluene goes here and has one methane right here. So they go inside. They both react inside to form a mixture of ortho, para, and methahelene. Remember, ortho is this one right here, para. Is this one right here and meta is this one right here okay so essentially you have the same formula you have two methanes and the benzene ring which I just want to show it like this okay what's going to happen here is that eventually because the cell is small the mouth let's say actually not the mouth but the size here will only accept that the parahelene goes out because it's the most like uh, because of its shape. This one is too long. This one is too short. This one is middle. So you want that, and essentially that's how it works. They react, and even though uh, in the interior you're going to react everything, those that do not react will isomerize to form the helene. So you have this one here, or you have this one right here, they will turn to this guy right here, so, uh, the parahelene. So there's a high selectivity on parahelene, so if you're selling that, well, that's good for you. If you don't want parahelene, you will need to find other uh, use or other sell that. Now let's go on synthetic catalyst. Common one are aluminosilicates, are essentially human made. You're going to have a lot of silicon, aluminum, and oxygen bonds. Actually, you can see them everywhere. They form this shape, as you can see right here. And yeah, even also like tube ones. You, hopefully, you see the tubes, guys. I see them more like a kind of like this okay well anyways you have these ones here aluminum oxygen are very important and this is cell light and this is just an aluminosilicate so both are or have crystalline structure but the first one is nature and the second one is human made and that's on natural and synthetic catalyst What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.